Farmers are so innovative. They're thinking about what's the next step and, and how, do we, how do we do this better, less expensive, less impactful on the environment. Roy Pullman, a producer from Southwest Nebraska. Well, I've been involved in the water issues in Nebraska for over 20 years. My grandfather came out and, and we actually were in the Platte River Valley. We're on the edge of the sand hills. And so we're in a we're in a sandy loam. We broke it out of sod and we planted corn and pinto beans and wheat. Great for about any crop you want to grow, from potatoes to edible beans to Popcorn, soy, uh, canola. I mean, it really is a great environment, a great host uh, to grow crops in. We're in a rain deficit area. We don't get a lot of precip during the growing season. Supplemental irrigation, whether it's groundwater or surface water diversion, is important to not only grow the crop, but be able to protect the, the investment that you have out here. We actually travel in and out of every one of our machines every day. There's maintenance that has to be done. There's all kinds of evaluation tools that you obviously want to pay attention to to make sure that it's operating and functioning correctly. The panel is all computerized. I can access it here at the well, or I can actually access it from my phone or my laptop computer or my desktop computer. We always do a visual inspection when we drive in and out. We're looking for obvious leaks, we're looking for a nozzle plug, we're looking for all kinds of things. And then the, the number one thing is why are we here, is the crop itself. It's a daily assessment. There, there is no time that we can just simply ignore what's occurring at the field level. Um, so besides every other activity that goes on on the farm, uh, you have a huge investment into this process and, and what it, what it uh, means to your bottom line and your, and your family and your community. Irrigation is a risk management tool. <laughs> you know, you, the further east you go, the more rain you get. The further west you go, less rain. You have to have supplemental irrigation. So that, I mean, that's a risk management tool. It's a phenomenal tool. The beauty of, of some of the aspects of the precision agriculture, we're, we're able to start measuring those, those pieces of the puzzle to make better decisions on water and nutrient management. The fact that we can measure it and make actionable decisions out of that measurement are incredible. I have to be a good steward and be conservation minded. I want to leave a legacy of understanding and instill that stewardship and conservation in my grandkids, my great-grandkids, and my own son. Some of the best water in the world, right there.